you are sure we will have those defense batteries up and running? No, 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 no. I'm not sure. They're in bad shape, Del. Really bad shape. I I'm already using duct tape and spit to keep the station from falling apart. You want me to pull a rabbit out of my hat? I don't want to hear excuses. I want to hear that it's going to be fixed. Period. Get it done. All right, all right. I'm on it. You want to quit standing there and hand over the conduction grid data? Nothing you need to worry about. Stay in your own space lane and let Jazz do her damn job. Now, do you have what we sent you to Neon for, or not? Ah, perfect. I'll take that. <laughs> Dependable as always. Unlike some people we know. Oh, that's real funny. All right, listen up, because I don't want to repeat this twice. We've gotten word that UC Sysdef is massing somewhere nearby for an attack on the key. While we prepare for their arrival, I want you to head straight for Bannock 4 and bring Crix's legacy home. I have a very reliable source at Mast. They were so concerned that the threat was real, they actually jumped the information out to us right away. Lay it out, Jess. All right, first things first. I'm gonna upload this data you snagged from Jennerdyne into the Keys databanks. All you need to do is build and then install a conduction grid module onto your ship. Oh, and if you haven't already, you'll need the comp spike module installed as well. Wait, I, I should take notes. Once your ship is ready, jump out to Bannock 4, board the Legacy, and bring us the cash. Everything you'll need for ship repair and construction is down in Jass's section of the key. If you have any questions about the modules, she'll have all the answers. You better pray that isn't the case, because that means we are done. As in, no more Crimson Fleet. Nothing around here is simple. Del's right. You have to follow these steps carefully, or don't bother coming back. After you board the Legacy, be on the lookout for two transfer modules. They're special keys that allow access to the ship's vault. Once you locate the vault's control center, hook up the data core I'm gonna give you, and download everything they've got. And before you get any bright ideas, like running off with the money, that currency is going to be heavily encrypted. Only a genius like Shinya will be able to crack that encryption. So bring it back here right away. Because those Galbank ships were carrying so much money, they didn't even trust their own crew. That would be a first. I have yet to see encrypted currency that Shinya could not manipulate within hours. I mean... The guy plugs his body directly into his mainframe. He eats, breathes, and shits numbers all day. Nah, no, I'm not worried about him. Yeah? I sure hope so. Look, I'm gonna make this real simple for you. If that money ends up anywhere but the key, I will hunt you down and pry it out of your dead hands myself. Now get moving. The Crimson Fleet isn't really a fleet. It's an ideal. A principle that Crick sought to set up so that pirates didn't infight over scraps. Over time, that notion has been lost. Captains have been turning their backs on the fleet, doing jobs on the side, killing each other. Bringing Crix's legacy back to the fleet would be like validating everything Jasper Crix believed in. And I'm certain it would unify us once again. Of course, it wouldn't exactly hurt to have all that extra money at our disposal, but I think you catch my meaning. You've met some of them already. Matis Castillo, 
Yevgeny Rokov, Juan Dayu, Estelle Vincent, and Adler Kemp. They might feel like independence to you, but each one of them has a stake in the Crimson Fleet, and each one of them wants a cut of the wealth. I am sending word out to every able-bodied captain that they are needed. We'll see how many answer the call. The toughest nut to crack is if UC Sistef brings in the Vigilance. That Commander Ikande has himself a hell of a ship there. Advanced shield deck, bristling with weapons. I would love to see that thing burn. If we hope to stand a chance against it, we need those defensive batteries and Krix's legacy. Get moving before it's too late. I need to get those defensive batteries online. The comm spike traces and decrypts coded signals. As long as you have the transponder ID, you can track pretty much anything. That file you lifted from the Galbank archives contained the Legacy's transponder code, which I'll program into your nav system. All you have to do is get within the vicinity of Bannock 4, and the comm spike will automatically point you to the target. Cute toy, huh? Well, you already know that the conduction grid does a pretty nifty trick. It absorbs extreme voltage and converts it to usable power on Neon. The version for your ship can still absorb incoming electrical energy, like, say, the EM fields surrounding Bannock 4, but it can't store the power. Instead, it just scatters the EM harmlessly away from the hull, insulating you from frying every circuit aboard. As a nice side effect, I'm betting the module will make your ship somewhat EM weapon resistant and boost its shield regen. <laughs> Lucky you. There are three defensive batteries, basically high-powered military space turrets, triangulated around the key. They were part of the UC's original defenses for the station. Pretty effective, too can put some serious hurt on enemy spacecraft. The good news is that the batteries have an incredibly wide field of coverage, so they can pick off ships trying to reach the key from any vector. The bad news is that they're 100-year-old tech. They keep breaking down and are expensive as hell to keep operational. Not a problem. Conduction grid data is all set up in the system, so should be an easy install. I'd love to take your money, but your ship's in perfect condition. Sure, sure. Let me punch that up, and we can have at it. Vigilance indeed. So many of these fine folks joined Sis death due to tragic circumstances. Hey. 
All support ships have arrived, Commander. Good. After we're done here, arrange it briefly. I want all of their seals over here as soon as possible. Yes, sir. There you are. Where have you been? I've received the reports about that stunt you pulled inside of Genadine. Opening fire inside a civilian facility. Are you out of your mind? Genadine is furious at us right now. They want Commander Rikande to resign. Fortunately, provided just enough information for me to convince the Council that this program should continue. There are people that will handle Genadine's lawyers, so we can continue our jobs bringing down the Crimson Fleet. That doesn't diminish the gravity of the mistake you've made. You search for more options, and when those fail, you search for even more. Anything that prevents you from drawing that weapon. The only reason you should be opening fire on anyone is in the defense of your own life. You always have a choice. People have died because you were too stubborn to find a safer solution. This is not how you see Sisdev operates. I don't care if we're one step away from Krix's legacy. If you do it again, you're off this operation, and I'll have Top throw you in the brig. It'll be my pleasure, sir. All right. I think we're all in agreement here. So let's get back to the operation at hand. It's time to put all the cards on the table and prepare to attack the key. That's the only course of action. There's no scenario here where the fleet will be allowed to continue. Before you jump to Bannock 4, I need to make one thing abundantly clear. The credits from that Gal Bank transport cannot reach the fleet. You have to bring them here at all costs. If Delgado gains access to those resources, we might be touching off a battle we can't possibly win. We've been monitoring the Crimson Fleet's comm chatter and the Crick system. They're gathering allies by making promises based on your success. As much as I hate to admit it, you see Sisdef won't stand a chance. The fleet will become stronger and more unified than ever. Believe me, that's the absolute last thing I want. I have the scars to prove it. Exactly. That's why it's imperative that we double our efforts and take them down once and for all. I've always known that when it came down to it, you'd do the right thing. All right, I guess this is it. Do whatever prep you need to do aboard the Vigilance, and then head out to Bannock 4. When you return here with Krix's legacy, we'll begin the attack. Good luck. During the end of the Narion War, the money was destined to bolster the Freestar Collective's coffers. Even though we were rivals at the time, I suppose we still are to some extent. The credits still rightfully belong to their people. After the money is turned over to Master, I'm certain arrangements will be made to return the money to the proper authorities in Aquila City. The evidence you've been bringing to Lieutenant Toft has been instrumental in convincing the brass at Mast to greenlight the attack. They've sent us support ships, extra troops, weapons, all on account of your role in the operation. To put it simply, if it wasn't for you, this operation would be at a standstill. Our directive is simple. We are tasked with the eradication of space piracy in the settled systems. As the chief source of pirate activity, the Crimson Fleet is our primary target. Stay focused and be careful out there. Has something on your mind? Looking for some last minute week. advice? Everybody's gonna take their turn. Even as long ago as the Narian War, Galbank used an extremely potent level of encryption on their currency. Unfortunately, the unlock ciphers are lost to time. However, if you can bring us one of Galbank's old transfer modules, I know it would help. Don't worry, I'm sure some of the techs at Mast will be able to work with whatever you bring to reverse the encryption. Anything you can tell us would be helpful. Yeah, I heard they even sent word to some of the contacts you met. 
They're writing an awful lot of checks they can't cover without Crix's legacy. But we'll be ready for them. Anything else? Damn it. I was afraid of that. I'll warn our ships to use looser formations. Hopefully Durand isn't as clever as she thinks she is, or you can help us take the batteries down when the attack begins. Was that all? Okay, well, if anything else springs to mind before you leave, please let me know. Good. The more you find, the stronger our case. Benjamin Bayou, pride of the Free Star Collective. The authorities there have been trying to nail him for a long time. Bringing us proof that he's been manipulating Jennerdyne from the shadows is pretty tasty stuff. The FC will pay dearly for this. Good job. That it? Okay, fine, fine. I know there's more out there, so keep on it. You're not gonna let this go, are you? Why do you care so much about my past? Okay. But don't say I didn't warn you. You might not like what I have to say. Would it shock you to learn that I spent some time in prison? <laughs> I suppose that makes me a hypocrite. That's fair. Well, okay. Where do I start? I grew up in the well in New Atlantis. Parents made barely enough money to keep the lights on in our apartment. After I dropped out of school, they begged for me to look for work. But I realized it was a lot easier to simply take whatever I wanted instead. A year after that, I'm a career criminal with UC security breathing down my neck and my parents kicking me out of the house. Hell no. I made enough money to buy my own apartment. Filled it with some decent stuff, too. I'd even send pictures of the place to my folks to rub it in. I was a real asshole. Um, well... I wasn't a nice person. That's just it, though. I was having the time of my life. Earning way more than I needed to simply get by and loving every minute of it. Back then, if you would have told me one day I'd be wearing this uniform, I'd have said you were out of your mind. Hmm, very funny. And not even relatively close. Let's just say the years after my time in the well were filled with highs and lows. Look, the point is that I felt you deserve to know a bit about my past. To know where my anger towards the fleet comes from. <laughs> Longer than you can possibly imagine. Well... <laughs> I think you've had enough for now. You get the point. Let's get back to it before Keyboy writes us a citation for loitering. You come back alive. You hear me? A lot of us had our doubts about you. Maintenance crews are the unsung heroes of the vigilance.
about some things. I wanted to talk to you about it. Let's talk. Captain, hello. I am satisfied to see that you survived your most recent sleep cycle. You know, traveling with you has been more than just good old-fashioned fun. It's been, well, therapeutic. Well, I buried my pain about Irvin for so long that I needed a nudge and a different perspective. I know. It didn't seem like it, right? Well, I was hiding it. Hiding it from everyone, including myself. I can see now how much it was affecting me. I know now that clearing Irvin's name would set me free from the grief. Well, just ask. Anyway, thanks for the support, Captain. Yeah, of course. Vasco is a fantastic co-pilot. He doesn't sleep, he reacts quickly. He's a fascinating friend. That's just a fact. Which brings me back to that plan I mentioned earlier. I think I know how to move forward now, but I'm going to need your help. My contact sent a gift. Nope. They were confident about not being detected, but not like 
too confident. Yep, my friend from Neon, who has helped me out more times than I deserve. Seems real to me. So they found an insurance settlement. Irvin's employers got paid as compensation for sabotage. Now they claimed they had to ditch the whole mine and all the equipment inside and construct a new mine with new equipment. <laughs> they were reimbursed for all of it. It seems that the mining company got a huge payout after they won the case against Irvin. We have the settlement paperwork from their insurance. Tons of money. Oh, also the cyber runner had to move on to other work, but sent me a passcode to some computer system. I'm not sure what it goes to yet. We can just hold on to it until we figure it out. But anyway, we have enough to move forward. The missing piece here is proving that Irvin was framed. So I discovered that Irvin's original lawyer still practices law, and she'll look over everything we found. Irvin's case was her first case, she said. She always hated how it ended. And she's now got two decades of experience behind her for a rematch, too. Yes, I believe so. Every case she's worked on has been in the interest of regular, everyday people. She doesn't seem to be in this for the money. I mean, heck, she said she wouldn't even charge us for the initial consultation anyway. Oh, detective. I like the sound of that. If I'm the detective, does that make you my trustworthy and sensible partner with a heart of gold? Hmm, well, I can work with that. Detective Barrett at your service. Anyway, we should take everything to the lawyer and see what she says. Maybe she reviews it and decides we have no case, or we need more evidence. I don't know. If we don't have a case, I can probably let it go. But I have to try. Oh, yep. I've got a key card for it. But I don't know what condition it's in. It's been 20 years, but I got the ventilation and power turned on, so I think it's safe. Yes, I've already arranged for my contact to drop off the evidence at our office. Fantastic. I knew I could count on you. You're as reliable as an atomic clock. I've sent a list of everything we've found so far to the lawyer and Gagarin. You know, I, I actually feel optimistic about this. Lead the way, detective. Recording initiated. I just wanted you to know I placed a commendation in your record, Aguilar. Really? Why would you? Ah! Take it easy, Doc. 
I'd like to keep the arm, you know? Sorry. Sorry. This field dressing's the best you're gonna get away from a hospital. Captain's right, though. You saved our asses, big time. You're the reason that we're having this conversation right now. That was a hell of a shot you made during the battle. This isn't necessary, Captain. I was only doing my part to keep us alive. Oh my god, Aguilar, take the compliment already. They had us on the ropes, shields down, engines down, escorts destroyed, then you hop on the one lousy gun we have on this crate. I'm not some kind of hero. We were just lucky, okay? Listen, I know losing Trembley back there was hard, and that both of you were very close. But we have to move on and survive. That's easy for you to say. You still have Kilner. Everyone knows the two of you are together. <sighs> Aguilar. You want to know the truth? Fine. Yes, we're together. But that's got nothing to do with what I'm talking about. I've lost four of my crew, and I'm trying to keep the rest of us alive and in good spirits while I figure a way out of this mess. So I'm sorry if I've offended you. Hope the arm feels better. Captain, come back. I... Not good, Aguilar. Not good at all. Damn it. Crew recording terminated. Crew recording initiated. All right, so how long has Bakara been locked in there? <sighs> I'm not sure. A week? Maybe more. All I know is that he took some food packs and his duffel into the head and locked himself inside. Everyone's been steering clear of him since he scared Simmons, so we didn't even realize he did this till today. Bakara! Can you hear me? You need to open this door and let us in! The hell with it. I'm going to use the override. I've already tried that. He's rewired the door or something. Maybe change a code. <sighs> Not sure what he's done. Kilner, can we cut through the bulkhead? Or the door? I'm open to any suggestions. To be honest, I wouldn't go cutting anything in this ship right now. The structure is extremely unstable. Damn it. Well, we can't just leave him in there. Begging your pardon, but we can. It's pretty clear that Bakar checked out after our initial assessment, and he's been killing morale across the ship. Let him soak in there for a while. When he gets hungry, he'll come out. I suppose you're right. Crew recording terminated. Don't need it now. Crew recording initiated. Full house. Damn it, Mayfield. You must be cheating. There's no way anyone can be that lucky. Oh, yeah. I'm so lucky. Tell you what, I'll trade all that luck for a sandwich. Deal? Yeah, sure. It's been, what was it, three? Oh, two weeks since the food supplies ran out. If we had sandwiches to trade, we'd be eating them ourselves. <laughs> Simmons, go get some rest. You sound awful. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a nap or something. I can't even read the card anyway. Sorry, everyone. Can't keep my eyes open. It's okay. Go on. I'll... Come check on you in a while. So... Another round? Aguilar? Kelna? Captain? You three go ahead. I'm just going to... Lean on Kelna here. And watch. Oh, and let's cut the captain nonsense. Call me Liang. All right. The young's out. I'm dealing the rest of you in. Crew recording terminated.
recording initiated. It's day 20 since supplies dried up. And here I am, staring at an empty poker table. Our last game. After Simmons passed, we kept trying to get together at least once a day for a game. To keep our minds off of things. Kellner and Leong were the next ones to, uh, step away. They wanted to be together at the end. Then it was just... Mayfield. We played for hours. Now I'm alone. I just wanted to, uh, leave this recording for anyone that finds the legacy trapped above Bannock 4. That's all. For now. Going to deal myself a few hands and call it a day. I miss you, Trembly. And... I'll be joining you soon. GB Legacy. Signing off. Crew recording terminated. yours.
Mighty fortune here. They stopped using these things, and I don't know, decades ago.
failure.
find anything worth selling or using? Crew recording initiated. Well now, let's see. Another day's gone by. What's it been now? Six weeks? Who the hell knows? Food packs from my ship are gone, so it looks like the clock's running down for me, and Issa wins. What a clever woman. I never saw it coming. I mean, I can't blame her. I was stupid enough to hand her the opportunity. Now the fleet's resting on her shoulders. I only hope she doesn't run the whole operation right into the ground. <sighs> anyway, let me just sit down in this chair. <sighs> yeah, there we go. Uh, best view in the house. All that money staring me right in the face and it's completely worthless. I'd trade every last credit of it away to be back in New Atlantis, running with the scar. Start my life over again. But enough dreaming. I've got to face the inevitable. This is where I'm spending my final days. Hopefully, someone with at least half a brain will follow in my footsteps and bring the score home to the Crimson Fleet. If anyone finds this message, <laughs> tell Issa that I don't blame her for what she's done. Most important, tell her to keep the fleet strong. Crew recording terminated. Recording initiated. Son of a bitch! Nothing. Complete waste of time. I've tried everything I can possibly think of and I end up right where I started. Oh, here I thought I was so clever. Thought I had it all figured out. First, fix my ship and get the prototype shielding back online. Second, Shunt the power from the cred tank array back to the system to drain the credits. And then third, haul ass back to my ship before the EM field rips apart the legacy. Three easy steps, right? Only problem is, I'm stuck at step one. Every system on my ship is dead, and there's nothing aboard this ship to use for repairs. I can't believe I came all this way, just to end up stuck here like the poor bastards who ran this ship. <sighs> Actually... Wait a second. Issa. Issa will figure it out. I, I told her where I was going for a reason. She's smart. She'll, she'll know something's up when I miss the rendezvous. After all, we're supposed to split the loot. All I have to do is sit tight and wait until she figures out that something's gone wrong. Then she'll come here looking for me. <laughs> In the meantime, I should uh, start rationing my food. <laughs> I could be waiting for a while. Crew recording terminated.
I sent some evidence ahead to the lawyer on Gagarin. Oh, no. You're not offloading that responsibility onto me, are you? Not much of a choice in this situation. The United Colonies are so overbloated by their own rules, they can't even solve their own problems without using oppressive tactics. <laughs> On the other hand, the Crimson Fleet are a bunch of disorganized and gutless rabble. And they weren't exactly cordial during my imprisonment. Honestly, if it was completely up to me, I'd give it to the UC, just to spite those goddamn pirates and teach them a lesson in manners. wonder as life forms ourselves, is it even possible for us to feel comfort in anything but the familiarity of other life? Hey, we're asking everyone to take care of me. Okay, sure, we'll take care of any holes, broken seals, that kind of thing. I'm sure you can find something you'll like. I have something for you.